is doing badly, so you need to cut in one sense. In another sense, it really is a political move. Most people thought it was going to be half of that number, which probably would have been the right thing to do. So it's a political move to try and keep somebody in office, but it's not going to work because the inflation has been so bad. And, and think of this. He missed the inflation. They missed it. They missed the number. They're either too early or too late. Mm -hmm. The Federal Reserve announced on Wednesday its first rate cut since March of 2020, slashing interest rates by half a percent. But as we just heard, Trump blasted the decision in his interview with Carl Higby here on Newsmax this week, calling it political. Yeah, I, and I've been saying it for a couple of years now. I said they were going to, I called it, mm -hmm. they're going to cut rates. I figured they would do it 90 days before the election so that it had a little time to sink in, but right. I think they missed the boat on that too. <laughs> but for more on this, let's welcome in certified financial planner Carrie Carbonaro, as well as dean of the Robert Plaster School of Business and professor uh, of economics at Cedarwell, Cedarville uh, University. Uh, Dr. Jeff Heyman. Good morning to both of you. Thank you so much for being on with us at Wake Up America Weekend. Carrie, I'm going to jump right in. What's your reaction to President Trump there? Do you agree or disagree with President Trump's opinion on the economy? Actually, I totally agree. Uh, the Fed is too little too late. They should have done it a long time ago. And it definitely should have come out at a half, half a basis point at 25 rather than 50. So uh, that is ridiculous overkill, and um, it is not going to work its way through the system fast enough. But ideally, they think it will benefit the incumbent. Uh, I don't believe it actually will. So I think that it's not going to affect anybody, except the good news is that it will affect consumers immediately. And so the poor people who are living paycheck to paycheck, which is 60 to 70 percent of you know, Americans in the United States, they will now get some relief on the debt side. So the credit card rates will come down. Um, if somebody wants to buy a house, the interest rates have now gone on a 30-year fix from 7% to 6%, which is an incredible welcome relief. So I think it's very good for the American public. Um, but yes, it of course, it's a political move. Mm -hmm. And they could have waited. The Federal Reserve has another meeting yeah. literally the day after the election. So it's clear this was strategic. But Dr. Heyman, the national debt has been described as a, quote, ticking time bomb. How does this interest rate cut impact the national debt? For sure. We would have never, in my mind, ever achieved the uh, 35 plus trillion dollars of debt if we hadn't had the decade of zero interest rates, where basically the cost of adding to the debt was nothing. But now we have real costs with real interest, and we're having over a trillion dollars of interest on the debt. And so any of the uh, reduction in the interest rate by the Fed does lower the cost of debt servicing. But if, given the, the amount of debt we still have, and given the amount that they're going to lower, it's still going to be a sizable portion of our overall government spending. It's already greater than the national defense. Wow, that's incredible. Meanwhile, both candidates, they're clearly trying to lay out their own economic agenda. I'm not sure that we completely understand no. what Kamala is, uh, what she's trying to say. But during a rally in New York this week, uh, Trump proposed credit card interest caps at around 10%. Uh, credit card debt is definitely a major problem for so many Americans. So can can he do this, first of all? And what do you make of the policy? So I, I'm thinking, putting my lawyer hat on here, uh, Carrie, is he going to try to make or try to get Congress to pass and sign into law a federal usury law of 10 percent? that You can't go above 10 percent because a lot of states, all states that I know of have a usury law. There's a cap, yeah. but the cap is so high, it's over 25% in most states, so it doesn't give anyone yeah. any relief. But it sounds like that's the president's plan, is to put a 10% usury law federally, uh, and that would be the max. Obviously, he'd need Congress to do that. What do you think? It sounds like a great idea. I love it. Um, those are the people that are suffering the most. The people who are carrying the average credit card balance in the United States is $10,000. Um, and I actually looked at one of my, even my nephew, I looked at his, he was paying almost 30%. And he was paying about close to almost $500 a month interest. And I could not even believe it. I mean, how can somebody who's at a low wage be paying $500 a month interest? It's like 25% of their take-home pay. So this is why families are struggling, not to mention the double-digit inflation, um, not to mention the housing costs. So, I mean, we really need to do a lot to bring down um, the cost of living in the United States. And I think this would be a, this would be a great idea if he can get it through Congress. Um, I know the 
banks are not going to like it because they're the ones uh, benefiting from the high interest rates. But it's it's great for the American consumer. Mm -hmm. Dr. Heyman, your reaction to Trump's plan to curb credit card debt? Yeah, I'm actually not as favorable towards that. Do Donald Trump has a lot of great ideas on, on energy as well as uh, his deregulation policies. But controlling prices in the economy is not particularly a good idea, whether it's Kamala Harris wanting to put price controls or Donald Trump on the interest rates. The issue is that markets already are competitive here. If they don't get the credit card access to, to the debt, then they're going to have to go to loan sharks and they're going to go to pawn shops. And those are worse options. There's a lot of competition in the credit card market for the consumer to shop around on the margins they care about. So I'm not particularly in favor of this. Fair enough, Doc. I, uh, I hear what you're saying I, and, I, and I respect it. Carrie Carbonara, Dr. Jeff Heyman, very great, very good insight. We appreciate it. Thanks for being on with Wake Up America Weekend. Thank you.